You know what's funny? I don't think I've ever seen someone with abs actually recommend starting strength, let alone someone with a decent physique. They tend to be skinny fat, power lifters, or built like a T-Rex, you know, they're like skinny upper body with giant legs. And one reason I despise starting strength so much is because I was brainwashed by these same morons when I started lifting weights as a teenager. There was this website, I think it was wannabebig.com, where you had two basic rules, starting strength and eat more. If the routine isn't working, it's not the routine, you're just not eating enough. First, let's explain what starting strength is from their website. The starting strength system makes use of the body's most basic movement patterns, barbell exercises that involve all the body's muscle mass, utilized over the longest effective range of motion and loaded progressively to force the adaptations necessary for increased strength. Unlike other popular exercise protocols, starting strength is a training system, a long-term process designed for getting stronger over time, not a random collection of exercises that just make you hot, sweaty, sore, confused, and tired today. So that's their explanation of the routine. And if you're not exercising to be hot, sweaty, and sore, what's the point of going into a gym? In reality, starting strength is an incredibly low volume three-day lifting routine. It starts with three sets of five reps each of squat, bench press, and deadlift. Literally nine sets in the entire routine Whereas most bodybuilding routines might do nine sets just for biceps, a smaller muscle group, let alone the entire body. Not only is the volume incredibly low, the rest time is long, three to five minutes between sets, makes it difficult to actually take the muscle to failure and have a high intensity. I think this guy, Mark Ripto, that made this routine is really connected and has some type of multi-level marketing scheme going because there's no other explanation for the routine's popularity. Like, hey, hey, it might work for some people, but at face value, the package that's being offered doesn't seem that appealing. From the information in the routine, how the guy looks, you know, what success stories are there. You got a bunch of skinny fat power lifters, like, come on. And there's actually another routine called strong lifts, which is fairly similar. So most of my suggestions do apply to both of these routines. Even though strong lifts is slightly higher volume, it's basically identical. And I really don't get it. If it's supposed to be a simple three day per week routine, you could be much more efficient in the gym if you're resting that much between sets. You know, someone doing starting strength might complete nine sets in one hour, whereas with my very high volume lifting routine, I might do over 50 sets in the same period of time. You know, I'm doing four to five times the volume of starting strength. Is that four to five times as effective? No, but it's close. Now, does the routine work? Of course it does, but anyone that goes in a gym as a beginner will gain muscle and strength. You know, same thing with someone jerking off every day with their right arm, their forearm's gonna get muscular. For me, I did starting strength, but plateaued very quickly. My bench press stalled around 185 pounds, squat around 225, and deadlift around 275. I was gaining strength, but not real size, and I probably weighed about 125 pounds at the time when I was 13, 14, and when I increased the volume slightly from starting strength to a five by five routine, I was able to break past that plateau and add about 30 to 40 pounds to each lift, but then I stalled again. And even for a natural lifter, you know, you should be able to bench press more than you know, 225 pounds at your peak. And at that point, regardless of how much volume I added, with that training style, repetition, tempo, focus on compound movements, I wasn't getting stronger and I certainly wasn't getting bigger. As I weighed around 135 pounds towards the end of my five by five nonsense. You have to understand, it's a power lifting routine, not a size routine. And a person's strength is greatly dependent on their body frame size, their natural testosterone levels. As soon as I joined a real gym, instead of using that barbell in my garage to do the big three, I adapted a classic bro split bodybuilding routine. Chest triceps Monday, back biceps Tuesday, legs Wednesday, shoulders Thursday, arms Friday, five days a week, and I completely blew up in size. 
At my peak, I weighed around 185 pounds and that was without working too hard on my legs. Now to me, that wasn't even the most optimal routine I followed. It took me about five years of lifting weights on that bro split bodybuilding routine to gain 50 pounds and I think I would have achieved it much faster on a properly done full body routine. From my personal understanding of starting strength, if your goal is to do anything in the gym, even get stronger, you can spend your time more efficiently. Starting strength has flaws on every single aspect of the routine. The overall volume, the rest time, the exercise choices, training frequency. You need to incorporate more sets and in order to increase the volume, you can't be resting three to five minutes. Exercises have to be switched up to properly isolate the muscles. Plus, you have to be in the gym as often as you can to build muscle as efficiently as possible, not just two or three out of the seven days of the week. And I don't even think those exercises are a great base for strength. How can you justify doing barbell movements when most people have asymmetrical strength on their right and left sides? I would argue most beginner lifters should be using separate arm movements majorly for the first few months of their training routine to correct those left and right side imbalances from previous everyday life. And even for myself, that's still something I incorporate in my routine after lifting weights for over 10 years. Regardless of your starting point, if you haven't worked out before and you start Googling stuff like beginner exercise routine, it's all super confusing and most people would benefit greatly from having a personal trainer initially. You know, there's some good ones, there are some bad ones, but most of them are okay. You know, obviously make sure that you pick someone that makes sense. If you wanna be a bodybuilder and you wanna be muscular, don't choose a skinny fat personal trainer. You know, if you're a girl that's a little overweight, a little chubby, and you wanna look like a smoke show, hey, pick the personal trainer that looks like a smoke show. It kinda of makes the most sense. From what I've seen, there's no popular routine whose overarching goal is correct stimulate as much muscle as frequently as possible to reach your goal. Whether it's bodybuilding, powerlifting, calisthenics, whatever sport, football, doesn't matter. The person needs to understand that if they aren't seeing drastic results in three to four months, the routine is not effective. And you guys saw my dramatic transformation over the initial six months of my bodybuilding trial. Even with muscle memory, it's hard to deny the effectiveness of a high volume routine when done consistently. My piece of advice, if someone recommends starting strength, they have no clue what they're talking about, they haven't experimented enough with weight training to give you advice. It might be simple, get some people in the gym, get you some 14 inch biceps, but there's just so much wrong, you know, everything we've mentioned, the low volume, difficult compound movements, you're better off doing push-ups, pull-ups, and squats every day in your garage in most cases. So thank you guys for joining me. Let me know how you like this and what type of fitness content you would like to see in the future. You guys know how to support me. Uh, go to frank stefanocom to check out everything like Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Naturals. Uh, you can reach out to me for consultations. My book is on there. Everything you need to see. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.